in this installment of ISO Watch, we are doing a network installation of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before we begin, I need to make a few small points. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment in a virtual machine. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I will miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I do not take the time to research features. That is your responsibility should you wish to try the software. I will not spend enough time with this distribution to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by this policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, if you visit the link in the description, it will take you to this page. And I grabbed the network installation, which is their current release. Once you boot into the live image, you are greeted with an end-user license agreement. And then it's going to probe your system devices. You are given some additional options to add additional repositories or include separate online media. It gives you a proposal of how it's going to install. I am just going with the default partitioning in, since this is a test environment that I'm working in. Select our time zone. You can choose your desktop. Your choices are GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXDE, Minimal X window environment, Enlightenment desktop, or in text mode. And then, of course, uh, we'll get, give it our username and password when we set all of this up. It'll give, give us um, our installation settings that we picked out. This is the opportunity we have to go back and look over everything at this point. Once we're done, we'll press the install button, and then we are at the point of no return. Confirm installation, and we are off to the races. I will say that this installation took about an hour to perform. Uh, for time compression purposes, I am speeding this up a little bit, obviously. Based on my installation preferences, this is what we are presented with. A very simple XFCE desktop. If we right-click on the desktop and go into desktop settings, you're going to see just a basic selection of wallpapers are included with this. Okay. We go on the lower right, when we click my username, shut down, lock screen, that sort of thing, your time, with calendar, two desktops to switch from, your networking, keyboard layout, this utility lets you go into presentation mode or uh, set your power management settings, and a simple volume control. You can collapse all windows and show your desktop with this icon. And then there's just a very simple menu. I would have liked to see whisk Whisker included with this, but I'm sure they had their reasonings for setting it up this way. The XFCE desktop gives you a basic um, spread of applications. Everything you need for getting the most out of the system is included uh, with your accessories. There are some games thrown in here. Very small games, tools for managing graphics, internet tools, multimedia, a full office suite, some system tools, and your settings. And we're going to spend more time with this. All right, uh, in your settings manager for XFCE, everything you need for managing the system is done right here. And it this stuff is really easy, folks. I've got tons of videos on it. Under appearance, really, you only get three themes with this. That's it. There aren't any icons. 
you know, just a simple spread of icons. So pretty much you've got a base system to start with. The only thing is, though, you'll probably end up um, removing stuff you don't want, like the games. You may end up swapping out the web browser or getting rid of some of the other Internet applications. You may also have other preferences for multi your multimedia needs. For instance, uh, I'd much rather use XF Burn than Brazero, but that's a personal preference. Um, not that I burn many discs anymore since um, Flash Media um, has gotten so cheap these days. Uh, rather than burning discs, I'm buying Flash Media now. So, you know, uh, I'm sure uh, we'll probably be seeing uh, DVD and CD discs going the way of the dinosaur at some point. <laughs> Okay, enough digression here. Let's go back into all settings. So um, you've got everything you need for managing the system, but the most important thing is the uh, install remove software and Yast. That's also available from the menu here, Yast and install remove software. Let's just have a look at Yast because this is really what makes OpenSUSE shine. And uh, for those of you who do not like how I pronounce it, talk to the hand. All right, so OpenSUSE has um, this really awesome utility for uh, managing everything with your system with, through the Yast or yet another setup tool control center here. And uh, pretty much you can manage everything with the system right here, adding on products. You can uh, verify CD and DVD media integrity. It has a tool built in for this. How cool is that? for those of you who don't want to have to open up a terminal. All right. Um, so you've got tools for everything in here, and I'm, I don't even have time to go through this. Um, in the uh, install setup, um, the firewall is already configured and running with this, but you have that available ability here. Um, so it's quite comprehensive in what they have here, and it is my understanding that you know, the people who maintain Tumbleweed have made every effort to make this as stable as possible, yet still giving you all of the benefits of a rolling release. Rolling release means that you only, only install this once, you keep it updated, and you'll never have to worry about an end of life with this. Which is great, because uh, that's what I like. I don't want to have to you know, uh, reinstall a distribution every few years. I'd much rather just keep something that's constantly rolling, and that's always a good thing. So let's look at software management because I like what they did with this. With yet another setup tool, too, you can very easily search for uh, software. Now, this is uh, similar to, like, Synaptic, for instance. So let's say I want the Whisker menu. I can search for that, all right, and I can choose to install that. Maybe I want to have a nice dark theme to use with this as well. Okay, and it looks like um, we've got the Vertex GTK2 in three themes, and uh, you'd want to use that with an XSCE desktop, so we'll go ahead and install this. Okay, and now we're presented with a listing of uh, what's going to be changed. Okay, we'll continue with that. Now, OpenSUSE seems to have uh, a wide variety of packages in its re repository. For instance, when I did a search for Compiz, I noticed that they have the 0812 series. Hmm, this looks like uh, they've picked up uh, Compiz Reloaded, so you Compiz fans out there are going to love this. So, I mean, uh, it looks like they have a pretty huge um, selection of things because uh, prior to shooting, uh, I took the time to do some searches, you know, just to see what kind of things uh, that they have in the repository, and I was surprised by what I was able to find. So, there's a bunch of really cool programs um, that you can search for, but you can also add other repositories too. Something else that caught my eye that I thought was really cool is the RPM groups. So this is great if you're just looking for random software to play with. Um, you can, you know, 
just go through these package groups and look at some things in here, such as for 3D games. Okay, we've got a 3D table tennis game. I like the descriptions that it gives. Technical data talks about dependencies. Versions looks like 32 and 64 bit file listing and change logs with it. So this is pretty neat what they've got going here. And then any installation summaries uh, would go here. And there's a bunch of other things that this tool does that I'm not going to have the time to uh, really go through. But we did get the whisker menu, so we can just go on to panel preferences, go on to items here, and we can just add that if we want to at this point. Just remove the old menu. There we are, and then we got a quick, <laughs> quick launch to the uh, settings where we can change the appearance and at least uh, pick out uh, the theme that I uh, downloaded and installed. So there we go. Got a new look already. So yeah, that kind of works for me. Um, Looking good, um, but I think as indicated, I would have liked to have seen a um, to have seen a um, notification uh, when there are updates. I'm sure there is one. It's just transparent to me at present. So, yeah. Um, so it was a good suggestion for whoever suggested that I have a look at Susa. It's been a long time that I have it, since I had a look at it. Uh, I'm liking what I see here. If you think this is something you might enjoy, um, visit the link in the description, download the net installer, pick out the desktop you want, install it, and have fun with it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering in uh, my next video, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. Until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.